working with the theater school since it began in 2006. And um, over the years, we had seen this uh, really beautiful unfolding of the students and with the practice of, of the theater school. So it seemed natural to take it out of the building and extend it, reach out to kids that may not necessarily be able to come down. They have all kinds of barriers to coming and attending uh, creation-based theater programming. So um, with the years of experience, I felt like it was just a natural um, process to move into becoming outreach facilitator and connecting in the schools and community. A lot of them, this was their first experience with creation-based drama, dance, all of that we were offering. Um, they were a little anxious at first. They weren't sure what it was about. And we really kind of, we were too, like we weren't sure what the sessions were gonna hold. They really needed to get to know us a bit before they would jump into a game. But over time, we start coming into the school. They're all hugging us and ever, the whole school gets to know us. Little brothers and sisters of the kids we're working with. They know who we are. So they all recognize the purple t-shirts. We're really uh, embraced with warmth and positive uh, reaction. Anytime we had Globe Theatre School, they were pumped and excited. Seeing um, students who might not be engaged at first and um, by the end be like the shining star on stage. <laughs> You're like, wait a minute, you didn't even want to be here day one and look at you now. I can be really shy sometimes, but the Globe Theatre program helped me to be myself and not worry about what other people think. Just hearing it from those students is securing um, the belief that what we do is so, so important. The reason we got involved was because as much as we try to be well-rounded teachers, it's not always possible to be the best in all areas. So as soon as there's an opportunity that allows ex experts in the field to come into our classroom, it just enriches our curriculum. It was so beneficial. and even to spark that interest in drama and see how these people bring characters to life and how drama is supposed to be done. We would have discussions with the teachers, pre-session discussions, and figure out a point of inspiration for all of us. And asked, you know, what, what ties to curriculum do you see this working in your classroom? And so we said, well, you know, we're working on uh, the concept of bullying and, and self-esteem and and things like that in health, so it'd be really neat if we could make that bridge um, and have a cross-curricular kind of activity for them to work on. The artist just ran with it and came up with putting the drama in before, came up with the dance. They did things that there is no way I could have done on my own. Yeah, they um, were able to bring qualities out in my students, strengths out in my students that I had never really seen before. So the kids that I think excelled the most were kids that I never even really um, had seen as having a strength in that area. The teachers are not in, only involved in the uh, planning process, but during um, the execution of all the um, workshops, they're there as um, guides and at times um, helping us again to um, um, deal with some of the behavioral concerns that we have to deal with. So, um, you know, the GLOW staff are wonderful helping to diffuse the situation, um, redirect the student by maybe giving them an opportunity to just observe if they don't want to be involved, or again, by tapping into things that interest them. I thought the artists were really, really good at commanding, um, like they developed a rapport right off the start. And so then, like in the teaching world, if you don't, if the kids don't respect you, it's really hard to manage them. And by having um, the teachers there as a support um, was a huge help because not only do they have a really stronger relationship with these students that they've developed over, you know, a term, um, they also um, can help us to understand how we can approach the students' needs. Uh, it's broadened my view of what arts ed is. It's given me more skills that I can bring to my classroom in the future. Yeah, after every session I went back to my room and I like furiously wrote notes <laughs> and actually near the end of the sessions I, you know, I was writing notes as they were working with the kids because it's something that, um, like I said, I have to kind of be a jack of all trades. I've learned that they benefit um, just from being able to express themselves. Um, they build self-confidence in being able to work with these groups and have their ideas heard and then implemented into the, into the work. They started to just get a whole different perspective on themselves, on school. Uh, teachers would say how when the kids knew we were coming on Wednesday morning, they were just so excited to come to school that day. 
so that was always exciting. In this role play, they get to play these characters and maybe see things from different perspectives they might not have um, considered before. And in that, there's learning um, and, um, and a lot of growing and understanding. And I think that's one of the most beneficial things, is just watching the kids come up with um, ways of solving their problems. Be really always encouraging in that you are, they uh, are part of a community, they belong. It was a little scary, but when, when we all were together, all that fear went away. But seeing them come to that point of realization is um, very, very um, gratifying. The value was, it's immeasurable because they, um, they got to demonstrate their learning, present it to their parents and to their peers, and they saw how um, worthwhile it was, like all the work paid off, you know, they said it was so meaningful for them. Um, and to, to feel, for them to feel when they're like 10 and 11 years old, that they're making a difference, it was really neat. And once we learn to grow the confidence, we realize we're doing this for something that will change and make a big difference. And so I think everyone did great and just came out of the shell at the end. After we finished, everyone was really giving us clapping loud, and they, it seemed like they really appreciated so it. So the reaction from family and friends were the best, because they encouraged you even through the process of doing the dance. And watching them smile, I think, was the goal I wanted to meet, and that was the goal I accomplished. We all got to know each other better, and it was really fun. The other really positive experience was that I teach a split and kind of, I mean, the first few months of the year, it was very clear that we are grade five classroom and then we are grade six classroom. And after that experience, the kids just really bonded. So that was really neat too, that they started seeing, you know, strengths in one another that they hadn't noticed before. And uh, they had kind of a common bond. And that was really neat because it, it's translated now throughout the whole year. It's been wonderful. Seeing kids develop in, you know, 10 week phases, um, really, really, attractive to be a part of. If, you're, if it's worth doing at school, it's worth sharing too. And so it's, I mean, it's meaningful for them to, to take their learning on the road and to showcase what they've done and what they can do and what they've learned. The Globe Theatre is a lot of fun and yeah, it's just a lot of fun. It's theatre, it's fun, but for some reason it gets through to students in a really personal way. So I think it's important that that connection with those schools is still met and then we're building mentors within the schools. We have these students that have been through a theatre school uh, 10 week program or whatever it may be and they have this confidence and this skill set within them so then it'll be creating after school programming. They could be the leaders in the after school program and then they're educating and, and enticing the younger kids to come and get involved. And then we'll come up slowly together. And then you're gonna give me one big hooray, like you're just at the best time of your life. 